Another 10 minutes closer to Slam Marie, brought to you by 10-10-220 this Sunday on pay-per-view as Silver King of the Luchadors make his way to the ring. I'm still intrigued by talking about the Luchadors. Rey Mysterio Jr., a Luchador himself, and that's an understatement, will team with Kidman. They are the World Tag Team Champions. They'll put those straps on the line at Slam Marie in a three-way dance, taking on the teams of Raven and Perry Saturn and Bill Horseman, Chris Benoit, and Dean Malenko. They should be very, very careful come Slam Marie. Well, this really is a unique situation because when you think of the history of those three teams, just a little over a month ago, the reigning World Tag Team Champions were Chris Benoit and Dean Malenko representing the Four Horsemen. But then there was a match on Nitro, Benoit and Malenko defending against Rey Mysterio and Kidman. And it was the team of Raven and Terry Saturn that interfered in that match, changing the total complexion of the bout and influencing the fact that Mysterio and Kidman ended up with the tag team titles. And ever since that time, there have been problems among these three teams, out and out blatant interference during matches. Even before Nitros have come on the air, we've seen the four horsemen revert to the horsemen of old, Benoit and Malenko, recently taking out both Perry Saturn and Kidman several hours before Nitro even came on the air. We didn't even have the cameras there to document it. It is entirely possible that Rey Mysterio Jr. and Kidman can lose the World Tag Team straps without either of their shoulders being pinned to the mat. Jump Slamboree brought to you by 10-10-220. And speaking of Slamboree, Horace Hogan is in the ring and at ringside with Horace, his fellow NWOites, Vincent and Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray will be in action against the K-Dog Conan this Sunday at Slamboree. Well, Stevie Ray is the boss of the NWO, victorious in a battle royal a little over a month ago to gain that status to gain that stature as the leader of the NWO black and white group. And we've also witnessed the NWO black and white members in several attacks, actually two of them that I can remember off the top of my head, on Conan, one in the ring, one in the locker room area. Conan and Stevie Ray to go one-on-one -on -one at Slamboree. You know, I gotta tell you, between all of the NWO factions, I think the NWO black and white is the most unified. I'm sure they are. I the NWO, they they're falling apart. The black, the, the red, black are. What with the heat between Kevin Nash and Hollywood Hogan before Hogan went under the knife. The heat between Buff Bagwell and Scott Steiner. Now Buff's not even part of the, black, the red, black anymore. I think the black and white of the NWO may be the most unified organization within World Championship Wrestling. Well, when you think of the Wolfpack, it's a combination of friction among Wolfpack members as well as injuries with Hollywood Hogan sideline, the total package, Lex Luger on the shelf as well. They have really lost their depth for one thing. Problems exist between Scott Steiner and Kevin Nash also. From the top, body press from Silver King on Horace Hogan. Hogan, oh man, Silver King now. Into the side mount on Horace Hogan, but they cannot get the pinfall at ringside. This is not a hardcore rules match. A reversal. Silver King! Into the chair, into the guardrail. They might as well make this a hardcore rules match. There's Stevie Ray. Oh, the boss puts the boots to Silver King. Well, just the cheap shot that we expected from Stevie Ray. Surprised he didn't have the slapjack with him. That time he caught him with the boot. Ooh, Horace winds it up, and the running clothesline takes him down. I mean, Silver King really was waylaid there by the nephew of Hollywood Hogan. Silver King slowly back into the ring. Horace Hogan follows him in. And Silver King, this, although officially not a three-on-one contest for all intents and purposes it is because Vincent and Stevie Ray at ringside. There they go. Distracting the referee while Horace Hogan throttles Silver King with that weightlifting belt. Well, the outnumbered attack that the New World Order made famous comes to fruition right between our eyes. Silver King just had the life choked out of him. Horace wrapping the weightlifting belt around his neck while our referee, Johnny Boone, was distracted by both Vincent and Stevie Ray on the floor. The most thankless job in wrestling is referee. Hang on, lateral press hook the leg. Only a two count. The most thankless job in wrestling is refereeing a match involving one of these factions. The Wolf Pack, the Black and White, the Horsemen. Ducks the clothesline. Back elbow did not connect. 
spinning oh. leg whip. No way. Look at the power of Hogan. No. Wait, Jeff. In midair. Silver King got the two count. Yeah. That's how the weight of oh. Silver King caused him to have his momentum go over, and he got the pinball. Gets up and puts the boots. What a front kick to Horace Hogan. Now Silver King up top. Wilson tried to interfere. A little too late and a dollar short. Bear hug from Horace Hogan drives oh. Silver King back into the turnbuckle. Just dropped him into the corner that time. Picked him up in midair, stopping the offensive attack. Shoots him over. Oh, power slam from Horace Hogan. Lateral press hooked the leg. No. Silver King out. I wonder if Horace Hogan is a little too confident. No. Oh, oh got off. him here. Inside cradle. Fall two. Back. No. Two. What an upset that would have been. And, oh, and Silver King just walked into the foot to the face. How many times did Hollywood Hogan use that maneuver and the leg drop to win the World Heavyweight Championship? Hogan, oh. Back slam, hooks the leg. Got that it. is it. Well, fall away slam that time out of the fireman's carry provides Horace Hogan in the black and white with a victory. Horace Hogan, Vincent, and the boss. TV Ray of the black and white celebrates their victory here on Worldwide. Against my better judgment, let's take another look at what was that. Oh, hang on a second. Everything okay? Yeah. I know you fine. talked about unity. You never know. I still think they're more unified than the Wolfpack. Let's go back and take a look at what went down. It's our Nestle's Crunch replay of the week. Nestle's Crunch is the official candy bar of the NBA. When it's on the line, it is crunch time. Mike, chalk up another victory for the black and white out of the fireman's carry. There you see the fall away slam. It's all in one move. He hooks the leg and gets the three count. I will rejoin the living legend in the studio when we come back.